What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm here with part two of our series on how to get started as an online coach. So if you have not checked out the first video, I'm gonna link that down below for you guys. Go check that video out first and then come back to this one because that one's gonna be really important for you guys to be able to understand this one and the next steps. In the last video, I talked to you guys a little bit about how I got started back in, what was it, 2017 with my online coaching business. And what I wanna do today is I wanna show you guys how this year you guys can create an online coaching business and what those starting steps are. So in the first video, I talked to you guys a little bit about the basics of what I did and how the industry has changed over the last few years. And how now what we need to do is have more of a system and a process because the coaching space, no matter what industry you're in, has gotten really competitive. And what we need to do is we need to be able to collapse time. And the best way to do that is by implementing steps that give you structure and have a process and a system. And the cool thing is, is I've spent the last few years struggling and suffering to figure out how you can collapse time. And I fell on my face a million and one times so that you guys don't have to do that. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take you guys through the organic growth method, which is exactly what we teach all the students who are inside of our program. And basically what I've implemented over the last few years of running my business, I didn't even realize as I was going through and building my business that this is actually something I was implementing over time until I sat down and I thought about the process of what I did. I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like to go through these steps and how you can build an online coaching business organically, meaning that you're not paying for ads, you're not paying to build the business, but you are just showing up on social media. You're leveraging that, you're owning your audience, and then you're converting those people so that they actually buy into your courses, your content, your products, whatever it is that you're selling. They're gonna be the ones that are jumping on top of that, all from this strategy and all from this process. Let's dive into the organic growth method. The first step is actually something I talked a little bit about in the last video. This is what we call self-mastery. Now, before you click off of this video, I promise you this is the thing that most coaches are missing out on it could be the secret weapon that you're missing out on to either start your business or for your business to scale and for it to grow so self mastery essentially is being able to recalibrate your thoughts because a lot of people who want to get started in their business they have limiting beliefs maybe you're watching this video thinking I can never do that or oh my gosh this already seems too hard for me so what we do is we teach people how to recalibrate their thoughts so that they get in tune with their vision they know exactly what they want to work towards and they make that their North Star the way that you're gonna focus on being able to master these thoughts is by creating a vision for yourself step one is create a vision for what you want your business to look like. Do you wanna have a bunch of clients? Do you wanna help a certain community, right? What do you wanna do with that community and where do you wanna take them? That's gonna be the first thing that we need to do is once you start posting on social, like I talked about in my last video, is you need to get clarity on who you are and what your vision is. These two things together are gonna to power you through on those days where you feel like you don't wanna show up or the days where you wanna show up for people but you have no idea what to say. So when you master your vision and you master your own experiences and your own journey, what's really cool about that is you're gonna know how to show up on social media every single day. If you don't know what your vision is, I actually have a really cool activity for you. I'm gonna link it down below. It's called the vision map activity. It's just a set of questions that basically help you get clear on your vision. And what we do is we just send you back your results. So you get to read over them and it will just really help you get your thoughts going so that way you're able to show up on social media and you're able to start providing content for your audience. So that's gonna be the first step for you. The next thing is gonna be what we call powerful positioning. So think of this as all your marketing. This is where you're gonna start putting out content and building up your profile on your social so you're posturing yourself. A lot of coaches, they just do this so wrong when they first get started. If you are a coach, if you wanna become a coach, tell people that you're a coach. The easiest thing you can do is just set up a profile. I'm actually gonna put my profile right here. And a lot of people think that you need to have this crazy mission statement in your bio. You need to have this really cohesive page. Just get started. You guys can see here, I actually don't even have a mission statement. I just have my two businesses and the outcome that we get people. If you have an outcome and you have a vision to help people, just put that in your bio. You guys can also see I list the kind of coach that I am. So I say here, health, wealth, and business coach, right? So people know exactly what I do and who I help. Powerful positioning is really important because what it does is it essentially teaches people when they come to your page, hey, I'm the coach for you, or it really just gets them bought into who you are as an individual. So people should know right away when they come to your page that they want to work with you or they don't want to work with you. So learning how to set up your profile is really important. Put a statement in there that tells people what you do and list the kind of coach that you are. I also recommend here that you look at having highlight reels and have content that's really congruent with who you help or who you want to help. That's the second step for you guys. So the third one is going to be client acquisition. This is where most people struggle is they say that they have a hard time generating leads or they don't know how to generate leads, but the lead generation itself is not the actual problem. The problem is that they haven't done the precursors, meaning that they haven't done the self mastery and vision work and they haven't done the powerful positioning. So if you're constantly telling yourself that you are not able to generate leads, I guarantee you if you go back and you get clarity on who you are, why your experiences have shaped you, what your vision is and your profile setup, you're gonna have a way easier time with the lead generation aspect. But the lead gen aspect is actually really simple. You don't have to have this crazy beautiful program. You don't 
don't have to have this awesome software to get started. What you need is an outcome. You need to know what your ideal client's problem is and what the solution is that you offer for them. This third step of client acquisition, which basically just means sales and marketing, for you to be better at selling and for you to be able at lead generation, what you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to learn the problem and the solution. Then the more important thing is actually talking to people to bring them into your program. Now, some of the easy ways that you can do this are through calls to action, meaning that you're actually asking people to apply for your program. The second one is gonna be doing DM outreach. And the only way that outreach is gonna work for you is if you're providing consistent content. So that's why I say these kind of layer on top of each other is that if you have the self mastery work, you're gonna produce content consistently. Outreach is a whole nother process. I will make a totally different video on that for you guys. Learning the DM outreach process, it takes a little bit of time. It's also something that is very methodical. It's very process based. So I'll make a separate video on that one for you guys. If you wanna generate leads nowadays, it's not like it was back in 2017 when I started. You don't just get inbounds willy nilly every single day. Maybe some of you guys do, but I guarantee at some point it falls off. So you can't just expect people to apply all the time. You have to be actively going out and searching for leads and bringing them into your program. So that's the third step for you guys is lead generation. The fourth one is gonna be systems. Now I'm gonna link another video down below for you guys because I actually created an entire video on different softwares that you can use to get started if you're looking to start an online coaching business. All these softwares help you with setting up a deliverable, meaning that you're actually giving someone a program, different systems that you need to book calls, different calendar links that you guys can use, and a few other systems that are necessary to just be able to help you guys scale over time. The fourth one is systems. Now, I'm not gonna go too much more in depth on the fifth one because this is something we actually do when we scale our clients up, but this is team building. And this is something that I had to do back in, I think 2019, 2020 is I had to scale out a team for my company to keep growing and for me to get past that six figure mark. And so if you guys look at implementing these five steps, this is really the foundational piece that it takes for you guys to get from A to B. If you guys are looking to start your coaching business from the ground up, these are the basic steps that you guys need. The problem that most entrepreneurs have is they try to skip these steps. They think that they can just skip over the self mastery or they think they can skip over the vision work. And I'm gonna put it in perspective like this. I know most of you guys who watch these videos are fitness coaches. And even if you're not listening on this analogy, because I think it's really gonna help you guys. If you're a fitness coach and let's say you give your clients macros and you're a coach who's focusing on getting someone toned, they're looking to build muscle mass and lose body fat. You know that if that client comes into your program, you can't just put them into a deficit right away if they've never been consistent. You have to build up their metabolism, you have to build muscle mass, and then you go into a cutting phase. But if you do the steps out of order, guess what happens? They rebound, they don't find progress. They're not hitting the goals that they're looking to hit. It's the same thing for your business. If you're trying to skip steps consistently and then you're wondering why you're not generating leads or why you're not being able to even get started, it's because you probably haven't mastered those first few steps. Stick with me because we have a few more videos coming out in this series that actually go through each of these steps. That's gonna show you guys exactly what you need to do in order for you to start the business and also scale the business. I will catch you guys in the next video.